in search of three different country properties to sell to three different country buyers in and around Gillette or Rosette. Hi there, I'm Jason Walker, Berkshire Hathaway Preferred Real Estate Group. We have, in all honesty, we have more than three country buyers right now, but we have three of them that have some urgency in them and uh, have directed us to get out and get to hunting for something that's not being publicly advertised for sale. Uh, so that's what we're doing. We're working as hard as we can for these buyers at this moment. Um, today's the uh, first day of summer and uh, super green and we're thankful for the rain. All the moisture we've had this year and uh, the country's looking pretty good. Uh, but anyway, let's dive into this and uh, let you, as promised, at this point you've probably seen a, a postcard or a Facebook post or an email or a text message or something uh, to the effect that we're on the hunt for these buyers and we're working our tails off as hard as we can and uh, we need your help. So let's dive into this. I'll tell you a little bit about each buyer and uh, so you can learn a little bit about them and see what you think. Uh, buyer number one, a uh, young couple, got one, one young toddler and uh, they're specifically looking for a horse property. They have a few head of horses and uh, enjoy their livestock. Um, they would accept a original location manufactured home or stick built as long as it's on some acreage and set up to, to host their horses. They want their children to grow up uh, knowing what it's like to be around the horses and the responsibilities that comes with them. The husband works in the oil field, the wife is self-employed, um, and she works part-time to full-time, just kind of depends on the week. Um, it's super good couple. Done things right. Now, I applaud this couple. When they, prior to their marriage, he owned a house in Gillette. She owned some land out in the country. Uh, Post-marriage, uh, they've decided that uh, they didn't want to, they wanted to start over fresh. We've sold their house in town and we've sold their, their land out in the country. There's no contingencies on them buying a property at this point. The only contingency is, is we can't find anything suitable enough for them to buy. Uh, we got them qualified with uh, their respective, li <coughs> respective lender and uh, solid as we can get them. They're willing to spend up to uh, $400,000. Um, outside of that, pretty basic wants, you know, three bed, two bath at a minimum, uh, just a, a decent property. They're not looking for the Taj Mahal, they're just looking for a decent property to call home and, and start their, their, uh, their new life together in a new home instead of having the two combined properties that they had prior to their marriage. Uh, buyer number two, uh, this buyer can spend up to 500000 looking for a country property. It uh, doesn't have to be horse specific or livestock, livestock specific, but they do want their children to grow up in an atmosphere where they have responsibilities and they could have chickens or livestock or you know, kind of pick and choose whatever they want once they find the property that they're looking for. Uh, would like a, a garage for sure and or a shop, uh, but it just kind of depends on the opportunities that present themselves. Uh, they do own a house here in Gillette and their purchase will be contingent on the sale of that house, but I will tell you this much, they've already chosen their marketing plan. We've discussed that marketing plan and we're ready to launch it as soon as we find them the right property to buy. Um, but they're not, they're not gonna launch it for sale until we know what their new address is gonna be. Uh, that might sound a little scary to you as a seller, um, but I'm here to tell you, we got them three quarters of the way there already. Our estimate is um, we'll have their house on the market, go through marketing processes and advertising processes uh, and have it under contract. The numbers show it looks like we should be less than two weeks on market and then another 30 days in escrow giving us a, a 45 to 50 day window to closing. So based on what those statistics show us, that's why they're not up for sale currently. 
Uh, it's a matter of finding them something new before they give up what they currently have. Uh, so I will say this much, if you're maybe looking to downsize and, and move into town and you're looking for a family home in town, less than $300,000, uh, that's what this, this buyer has to offer when they turn into being a seller here in Gillette. Husband is a uh, welder by trade, wife is a stay-at-home wife, mother of two, soon to be three. So their family is growing. Uh, they're looking for a four plus bedroom, two plus bathroom home. Uh, live, size of the living room, size of the kitchen is gonna be super important. Uh, they want their children to grow up in an atmosphere where community is in the living room and the kitchen. Lessons are learned as a family, not being holed up in a bedroom on a video game. So. That's kind of the mentality of this family. I respect that a lot. Uh, so if I could uh, find them something to meet their needs there, uh, it would sure, sure make me feel good. Uh, buyer number three. This buyer can spend up to $700,000. Uh, so we just keep going up in price ranges. Uh, quality of the home and the property is super important. So they are not afraid to walk away from uh, sketchy work or shoddy work or something that's been slapped together and looks like your mother did a better job. Uh, they currently own a house in town uh, in Gillette. Uh, husband self-employed, well they're, they're self-employed business owners. Uh, they run a very large business here in Gillette. Um, they also uh, would have to sell their house here in town to purchase. So if you're looking for a very nice upscale home within city limits and you're looking to downsize and move in from the country this might be an option for you um, I would say at this point we haven't discussed the price in in depth I will leave it at the f leave it that they're gonna be six hundred thousand or less uh, in between half a million and, and six hundred thousand um, without giving away too many details on that one um, that's where we're going to be at in price range. The time, it looks like the time frame to sell their property in town if we don't do a trade or find something of that nature, we're going to be likely three to four months on market um, because of the price range. I may be wrong there, but I, I don't want to sugarcoat their situation and uh, and sell you something, sell you on an idea that may not be true. I think just keeping it real uh, for those folks and their property that they have to sell here in town, uh, we should keep it at that three to four month window. So like I've said in some of our, our print material, you know, if you're not wanting to go on the market because, you know, like buyer number two and buyer number three, you want to know your next mailing uh, address or where you're going to call home, uh, these buyers are there too. And so that's why I'm reaching out to you to see maybe if you got something that you're, you're willing to sell but you're a little nervous to put it on the market. Um, we can sure work around that because we got time frames that we know that it's going to take to get these properties sold and expectations, uh, realistic expectations on what it's going to take to get the job done on their behalf. Uh, each one of these buyers is uh, qualified with their respective lenders and uh, we can show you a letter of credit uh, once we come look at your property if you extend an invitation to us. Um, they're all local families. Uh, they got roots here in Gillette and uh, they, they want to keep their roots here. They don't want to move away. Uh, and I respect that. Uh, so anyway, uh, let's see here. Oh, buyer number three two has a family of five, so the number, you know, four plus bedroom. Uh, I think probably depending on the floor plan, they'd probably be looking at a three plus bathroom. Um, oh, and I forgot to mention too, buyer three would do a fixer if the price is right. Like maybe you don't have the Taj Mahal to offer and that's what they're looking for, but if the price was more palatable, they could fix it up themselves. Uh, so keep that in mind. Um, that, that very well could be an option that we should explore. I don't want to rule out anything at this point. Uh, the market is what it is and it's a bottleneck. 
there are more sell excuse me more buyers than sellers and uh, it's interesting in the place we are right now where new construction nationwide not just locally but nationwide did not keep pace with the uh, population growth curve in the last uh, 10 to 15 years and coupled with the uh, corona uh, co or COVID-19 social experiment uh, we are where we are now in our community and um, I get it like you might want to sell but you don't know where you're going and you're, you're a little bit nervous of the time frame um, that's going to take to sell or uh, there's just some uncertainties that may be in the back of your mind that we can work with you and uh, make a winnable situation for all parties. Um, Oh, buyer number three does want uh, 10 plus acres. So buyer one and two uh, didn't have such a stipulation on the um, parcel size. Uh, buyer number three does. And of course, if it's around 40 acres, that'd be uh, even more desirable, but uh, they're okay with 10 plus. We'll look at anything at that with that parcel size. Um, So yeah, just give us a chance. Uh, oh, as mentioned too, uh, th there's no obligation on your end at this point. Like, if you extend an invitation to us, don't feel like like there's any obligation on your end to, to me or Kenny or Berkshire Hathaway. Um, if you don't feel comfortable, you don't feel comfortable. But if you do, let's start the conversation. Let's start traveling down a path that may be winnable for both you and the buyers um, and let's put together a deal and, and just give us a shot and, and let's have a conversation um, we'll probably leave a link below in the, the description here on YouTube and uh, to contact us or learn a little bit more about what we got going on if uh, and if you got questions too feel free to text Kenny or myself or call us uh, whatever your preferred method is of communication, we're comfortable with that. And uh, we'll just go from there. Uh, appreciate the time you've taken to, to listen to me and hope to hear from you. Uh, talk to you later.